Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to discuss about uh, the fourth topic that is IP as a global indicator of innovation of model 3 of research methodology subject. So imagine the IP so far we discussed intellectual property. Definitely when there is intellectual property more means in a country that means the more creativity is there. And when there is more creativity definitely the more economic growth will happen. When there is more economic growth definitely the particular country or a state becomes the you know strong in terms of economy all over the world so that will act as a global indicator of innovation the more the uh, new thoughts the more the innovations and more the innovation definitely more IP will be there so IP will definitely itself will act as the global indicator so that the particular country has got more innovation okay understanding imagine now if i ask you which country is more innovative compared to india japan and africa definitely everyone will say japan why the reason is simple it's not that indians are not so innovative definitely we are more than anyone in the world because we are having almost around 40 to 45 percent of our population which is youth and when where there is a more youth, more new ideas will definitely exist. The problem with us is that uh, we are still stuck under uh, developed nations because of many issues. Maybe you just, uh, take care, for example, of any kind of issues in uh, as of now. Okay, maybe most of the times we will be if you want to write some particular project and if, if genuinely and if you want to get it fund for that particular this thing, only the the people who are generally applying only they know how difficult it is it is it is the most of the times the system is corrupted most of the times it is either the agencies which are funding or the people who are middle who they are act as middlemen or it may be just an influence just because you know that person i know so i will approve that project these kind of things do happen it is very sad to say i should not tell this in the platform to the students but sometimes you should speak truth and I'm doing that so I don't hesitate to do that and this will happen in, uh, uh, in, in countries like uh, not only in India countries like India most of the countries that's why we are not able to reach the top level in terms of innovations definitely we have a huge amount of youth which are jobless nowadays okay which have been promised by the many governments that they will give so many course of jobs every year so and so but at they are jobless even though they are most eligible uh, no, compared to anyone in uh, any citizens in any country that's why most of our indians will go to abroad and then they will they will settle there and they will serve for other countries okay you take for any bigger country uh, countries uh, companies like maybe microsoft or maybe amazon or any kind of software even uh, i mean you know, any kind of uh, platforms even uh, recently the Elon Musk took uh, the took over the Twitter, but before that, okay, it was I again mean, Indian. So the the CEOs, most of the CEOs of the world's top brands are Indians. So India has got that youth, but the in order to give them uh, the platform to fulfill their dreams within India, uh, the effort are uh, a very less from the any political uh, you know, what do you say the parties or you can say the government in general i'm talking about so that is the major reason but when what happens in japan it government itself take more interest if any new ideas are coming into picture and then they will fund imagine they will fund for our students who goes for their masters and uh, phds in their in their country so so much amount of fund they will invest on the innovations and research and development when that is being done, definitely the more people, why this money is in, important? Because definitely in the end, the people ask you how much you earn. And it, uh, and definitely in the end, it is you who is going to decide your passion. This, that, that has to have, give you some amount of money so that you can live a better life. Right? So for that, the money is important. And when the governments are able to provide everything necessary, whatever is being kept uh, now for you, then definitely you will be more enthusiastic or more uh, excited to bring uh, newer thoughts. So that's why we choose Japan. I just explained you why we choose Japan for innovation compared to other countries. Definitely the reason is this. 
the government is giving more importance to the research and development there. That has to be done, it has to be happened in India also. Okay, irrespective of whatever the parties, okay, uh, the more uh, uh, budget has to happen on the, for this particular new thoughts, new innovations, inventions, all these things and all. So, IP, especially the patents, is considered as one of the important calls in assessing the innovation index of the nation. As there is a more IPs are there, more IP are more patent are there, definitely that itself will tell you this particular country has more innovation. Now the global ranking organization always have IP or subset of IP is one of the parameters for understanding and grading the science, technology and innovation ecosystem of the nation. Definitely when your country has got more patents, definitely your country grading will be more fast, more better and your country will be recognized as more innovative company compared to other. For example, you just simply use the Synago that is a normal database which we have all the rankings, how many number of papers which have been published by this particular India or Japan or any other countries, how many number of patents which have been published by India or Japan or any other countries like that. So Synago is, is one of the publicly available online portal okay, which ranks generals and countries based on the data which is taken from this corpus. Now, 2020 reports ranked uh, India at the fourth position in the parameter of the number of research publications. Imagine, we were in the fourth positions in 2020 with what number of research publications. But at the same time, see the parameter of intellectual property. We were around 50th position. There is a huge difference. We are good at doing number n number of research, but that will not be converted into the IPR unless and until, I mean, not converted, I am talking about, I am talking about uh, whatever the ideas we get that we are not able to convert into the uh, new thoughts or innovative projects or the patents. So, we were in 50th position of the parameter, definitely. So, that is something which is not at all feasible. Now, the global ranking can be, uh, can be improved by sensitizing the teaching and scientific community sensitizing in a sense you keep on giving them the faculty development programs workshops keep on funding you fundings okay and uh, always have make sure that the, the teaching uh, teaching field uh, and scientific community of students are more exposed to this particular IPR and uh, patents so that they can go for patents and uh, about the importance of the IP and creating infrastructure for the same in the institute of higher learning centers Right, so that's about the how to say the IP as a global indicator of the innovation. That's how the IP acts as the global innovator index. Okay, so the next topic is origin of IP that we will discuss in the next class, maybe tomorrow.